Seven Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live in Detroit at the Department of Elections to explain ballot counting 101. Jennifer Ann. Yeah, it is really busy here tonight. The Department of Elections actually just officially closed. You can see we still have voters uh, here wanting to pick up those ballots and cast those ballots. And this box right here, not only do we have security at the door, we have police right here by the ballot box. And really throughout the day, a line of cars up the street just waiting for their chance to pull up, get out and put their ballot in this box, trusting if they do their part, the process will do the rest. Very simple. Very simple. But. They sent it to my house. I bought it, did it all at home, came here, and just dropped it off in that box right there. For many voters, what happens to your ballot next is a mystery. It's also a very meticulous process requiring thousands of people across the state, according to Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson. Once a ballot is received, the signature is checked and verified to confirm that the ballot is valid and should be voted. Then it's opened, it's flattened, it's sorted into the correct precinct and then put through the tabulator. 2.9 million absentee ballots of the 3.3 million requested have been returned so far. Each and every one will be recorded in a poll book and then put into a tabulation machine one by one. We have in many places doubled, in some cases tripled the number of high speed ballot tabulators and other equipment on hand. So who exactly is handling your ballots, putting them in those tabulation machines? Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson explains. In Michigan, our election workers count absentee ballots in pairs, one Republican and one Democrat, to ensure there's no political bias and that every ballot is counted fairly. There are also plenty of challengers because ballots can be challenged and likely will, but what if challengers take things too far? Well, it's kind of iffy, but I trust that Everything would go as smoothly as possible. Benson says voter intimidation will be prosecuted and there are many checks and balances in place to ensure accuracy of the count. With more absentee voters than ever before, results may not be available until Friday. What it takes is this time and patience for us to ensure that every ballot is counted and at the end of the process, the public can be assured that the unofficial results reannounce whenever there is a full tabulation will be an accurate reflection of the will of the people. Well, again, here in Detroit, we have a long line of vehicles, people getting out, walking up, putting their ballots in the box, police standing by, just keeping an eye on things to make sure that there is no intimidation, that everybody can do things smoothly. Now, what Secretary Benson said she believes could be the biggest issue is misinformation. She says that they are prepared for doctored photos and doctored videos to start being circulating online. So she has a team of people who are gonna be monitoring social media and anytime there's a report of anything happening, a photo, a video, they're going to work very quickly to try to verify that and get it in contact with the precinct with the city to see whether or not it is true or not. And they're going to update all their findings on a special website. We put the link on our website at WXYZ.com. Reporting live here in Detroit, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Very long day and night tomorrow for sure as they count those ballots. All right, Jennifer Ann, thank you.